Hey guys, it is Brittany. So in today's video, I have a wig that is brought to you by Nadula Hair. They are sponsoring today's video. Shout out to them for doing that. I'm gonna be showing you guys this Yaki Textured Bob, and this is a upgraded wig. So this is their Bye Bye Knots wig, and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that. I share all the specs on this wig. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look together, then just keep on watching. I went outside and I did low lighting like in shade because I feel like that's where you really get to see what your lace looks like in shade. And I think it looked pretty good. Of course, you're gonna still see it because this is not your skin, this is a fabric. But I still think it passes enough to where you won't be like embarrassed or it looks terrible, it looks good. And then in direct sunlight, it looks really good because the sun is like filling up the lace so you don't see it as much. So it does look really good in direct sunlight. a new wig from their from their collection um, and it is it has some new technology that I have not tried uh, so it's their bye bye knots so with the bye bye knots they're gonna be super invisible and they're supposed to be really natural even up close so it's supposed to have a pre-plucked hairline and an upgraded zigzag shape and I think they're talking about the shape of the hairline but we'll see once we unbox everything there's a golden ratio split lace size which is a seven by five which is something new to me because I'm not used to a seven by five um, which provides a deeper side part so a lot of people on my channel like side parts so this is gonna provide a deeper side part and we'll see what that looks like even though I might still wear it as a middle part but we'll see okay so the lace is already cut but of course i'm gonna have to cut it more it has that nice yakky texture i haven't tried a yakky textured wig in a very long time so here's this one i'm gonna try not to get them confused so this is the the bye bye knots wig so i'm gonna put this one over here okay so this is the wig that is not upgraded here so it has the same yakky texture but it has less of a parting area so i think it's like a six by four and a half if i'm not mistaken so this is what this looks like there in the parting space and that's what that parting space looks like so you can really see it i think you can see it more so in the amount of parting space that you get so i'm going to try to compare that so and this is the seven by five bye bye lace this does look better this one does let me put that on my hand so you guys can see but this one does already look much more natural on the back of my hand looks a lot more natural but check out the difference in the amount of part and space you get so that means you have a lot more versatility of styling but i still do like a smaller closure it doesn't This one has a little bit less. This one has more with the seven by five. And I believe this one is a six by four and a half, if I'm not mistaken. And they both have cut lace there. So this one is still nice, but if you can have something that looks more realistic, then I would go for that. So this is what the one, the only one I'm gonna apply like all the way is the upgraded one. I wanna show you guys what the other one looks like. So it does come with, this is a cap construction of the one that's not upgraded. So it comes with a comb on the right side and left side and then it has like that silicone material around it there to give you more grip. Has a ventilated cap with the tracks. Has the tracks on the, the cap there. And then we have a comb in the back. And then you have a detachable elastic band in there.
So this is just plopped on my head here. The lace needs to be tinted and stuff like that, but this is what this looks like. Just plopped on my head with the six by four and a half, I believe. And I'll correct myself on the screen. So that's what it looks like in the middle. And there's the side. This is still cute though. This one just needs to be finessed, of course. But that side part kind of cute. But this is what this one is looking like. It doesn't look bad. You just get less part in space and the knots are a little bit more apparent on this one than the other one. But this looks good. I'm not even gonna try to act like this one is ugly because it's not. But I need to do me a, a deep side part. I think I should. Okay, so that's that one. You know, I, I have four big braids in my head. I'm trying to make it flat. And this is the upgraded, upgraded one. Uh, let's see if it has a different cap construction before I put it on. Same cap construction, come on the right, left. You have that seven by five part in space there. You have the track sewn on the cap. A comb in the back. You have the adjustable and detachable elastic band, just like with the other one. And then you have that silicone kind of material around the perimeter. So it grips better. So let's put her on. Ugh. Ooh, I'll take my eyebrows off. So this looks really good, like all ready. This looks good. Even without tinting the lace yet, I feel like you can see, you're gonna see some level of knots. It's not completely invisible to me, but I still think it looks good. Still looks really good. So this is what it looks like. And because this is a closure, it doesn't go ear to ear, but that's fine with me because if you guys know, I've been wearing a lot of wigs behind my hairline. Now I'm not, I'm not gonna do that today, but by default, because this is a closure, some of my edges are gonna be out. But this is a yakky texture, so that's gonna look good. But this is, and it's a yakky texture, like I just said, this is gonna look good. I just gotta make sure the lace matches. Before I start the style, I'm gonna read you guys the specs on this specific wig. Like I told you, this is the Nadula Hair Bye Bye Knots wig. This is their seven by five lace invisible knots, yakky bob, and you can wear this glueless. This is a glueless wig. So I have it in 180% density. I have it in a natural black color and it's 14 inches and it's the yakky straight texture. So haven't tried yakky straight in a long time, but so far it's really nice. Yeah. So. I'm gonna cut more into the lace and cut it off a little bit more. Because even though it's pre-cut lace, it's still a little bit too much for me. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it on your own head, you can do it on a mannequin. Now, the front of the hairline looks fine. Looks great. I am going to just color in the lace on the side. Take it off and do it. Brush on the lace on the side. And I'm gonna do it to the other side as well because it's exposed. And I'm just gonna put that in the middle because the middle was fine, so. I have my wax stick here. And I am gonna apply this um, in the glueless way with some foam. I'm just gonna use my Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse as my glueless install. Now I really just have to do right here because my edges are out on the side.
piece of my lace sticking up and I don't want any of my lace to be sticking up. So I am actually gonna use my even and glue this down. So we're switching over to a voiceover. So this is the final look after I glued it down with the even adhesive spray and I pressed it out with my Babyliss flat iron and I added some curls in the bang area. It looks so good. It looks like I have a relaxer. This yakky straight texture is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I really do love the 14 inches. This is a wig you can wear every day. It's 180% density, as I told you guys, but I don't feel like it's too thick, especially with this Yaki Straight. It's just like a nice everyday density. And I'm six feet tall, so 14 inches might look differently on you depending on how tall you are. So if they do have like a shorter inches available and you're shorter than me, you might want to check that out instead of getting the 14 inches, but I really do like how that looks. It's very nice. I didn't notice any shedding. I still have it on my head as I'm recording this voiceover and I'm running my hands through it and I just get like one or two strands was running my hands through it. Overall, this is pretty impressive. I think this turned out really cute. You can wear it glueless if you want to. I showed you both ways or you can, you know, glue it down and it's still going to look really cute. So. If you're interested in this wig, you can head over to Nadula Hair and pick it up there. Shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.